Hey guys, it's Adrienne from Crafty Little Gnome and today I am going to show you step by step how to go ahead and set up your Glowforge machine. Now in a previous video I showed how to unbox your Glowforge so you might want to go back and check out that video if you haven't already. But here I have it in my craft room on a table and it's in front of a window where I will be able to vent carefully. So you just want to make sure it's on a nice and stable surface before you get started. And then we can go ahead and open it up. So you will see that there is just this orange piece of tape here. Um, you can go ahead and obviously take that off. And this is the one orange bit that comes with the machine that you do not have to save. Everything else here that's orange, you need to save it. Put it in a safe place, keep it with the box because if there is any damage to your unit or you need to have a warranty replacement, you have to keep those bits. And those can cost up to $250 to replace. So um, go ahead, take that orange piece of tape off and let's have a look inside. So inside you're going to take off the top piece of foam in the front and what you're left with um, you can see there is um, the base there for the, the printing bit and more foam. So you can take out those foam pieces and once again put them in a safe spot because if you need to send it back you need to have all those pieces. Um, the first Glowforge they sent me actually had a crack in it and I had to send it back and this is the new one they gave me. Now we're going to take off that orange clip that is beside the base for the printer head. It just clips off from underneath. Take that off and then also the orange piece of tape behind it can also be removed. Now you can go ahead and unscrew the two orange knobs. There's one on each side on the left and the right hand side. Those just unscrew very easily with your ink fingertips. So take those off and set them aside. Once again, this is the top view. You can see the foam still in the back there. And when you remove that, you'll pull out the printer head and that little blue bit there is actually for cleaning the laser head. You can take both of those out and set the foam aside. You will need to keep the foam. There is an orange piece on each side that's long like this. This is right behind where you took the orange screws out. You can go ahead and remove the orange piece from the left and the right side and set those aside. So this is what the machine looks like from the top down on the inside. The silver metal is the bottom of the machine and where you will slide the crumb tray in. And the black metal piece here. It's like a big black rectangle. Um, it slides into those grooves that we saw in the last picture and this is where all of the dust and wood crumbs will get collected and you can easily pull out the crumb tray and um, tip it out over a garbage can and get rid of any debris that's fallen into the machine after you've used it for cutting. Now it's time to go ahead and install the printer head. So you have to be very careful. It's a very delicate part of the machine. The little orange foam bit will be removed and then you can go ahead and clip in the ribbon. The ribbon has this sort of microchip, computer chip um, piece on the end and this is what's going to clip into the printer head. You just take the end of this, slide it into the printer head until you hear a clicking noise. And you just want to make sure that the ribbon is facing up and it kind of loops back in against itself. And this is what it'll look like after you have inserted the printer head. And all you have to do um, once the ribbon is inserted is place the printer head onto the base. It has a magnet and it just sort of clicks into place as well. Now let's take a look at the back of the machine. Um, this is where you will connect the silver exhaust hose. You wanna connect this to the back of the printer and then also out the window. When you're not using it, um, keep it inside and keep the window closed. 
Then all that's left is plug it into the machine and back the wall with the cord provided. Hit that button on the bottom side and you are ready. You're going to want to follow the Glowforge guidelines for setup with Wi-Fi. Um, that's all through um, setup.glowforge.com. Check out my other videos on Glowforge and creative home hacks for your house. Thanks guys.